If you're a church planter, failure is in your future. Don't worry about it. Embrace it. Trust me, you'll look back at your failures and remember fondly how you navigated your way out of them, what you learned from them, and how you grew because of them. Hi, this is Rick Curtis, and this Church Planning Minute is brought to you from the Elevate in downtown Phoenix, Arizona. Whether apocryphal or not, I want to share a story with you. It's a difficult story, but it's one that you need to hear. It's the story of a father and a son who for the son's 16th birthday decided to experience a rite of passage type adventure to mark the boy's transition to manhood. This special time took them on a difficult hike in the high Sierras of California. At one point on the hike, the sun slipped from the narrow pass onto a large steep slope of shale. And as the sun was trying to regain his balance, he began to run faster and faster, trying not to fall. And to his horror, his father could see that at the end of the slope was a cliff. And the father began to yell, stop, fall down. In his desperation, he was waving his hands and spreading. So he's saying, spread your arms, spread your legs, fall, fall. In his fear of falling and being incapable of seeing that cliff, as his father looked helplessly, the sun plummeted to his death. Tragic. As a leader, there will be times when you need to spread your arms and legs and hit the ground in defeat. In those moments, do it quickly and you may actually survive the fall. In other words, you're going to fail. So when you do fail, fail fast. Once you hit the shale, Pick yourself up, review, reflect, and learn from your fall. Then head back on the trail, applying what you've learned. In the end, you'll look back at what you survived and you will smile. Happy that you fell and a better church planter for it.